What is going on guys? Boy Turn is back in video and today Ole Miss pits up four-star point guard Josh Hubert out of Madison, Mississippi and this is a huge time pickup for Ole Miss and Kermit Davis. Now he's number one player in the class of 2023 here in Mississippi. He's a top 100, top 125 player in the whole entire country. Um, but talking about stats wise right quick, now when I was in high school he was averaging 30 points a game. Six rebounds, three steals a game as well, too. That's pretty good, pretty impressive. Now, whenever you watch film, watch highlights from the kid, these are things that I just kind of noticed with him. The kid is very, very strong, but it's special when he drives inside, drives inside the paint. The kid is very, very good with contact inside. The kid is very, very good finishing inside. Of course, the kid gets a bunch of and ones too. Um, so very good, strong, inside the paint point guard. Now, the kid is also quick, explosive, but also uh, the kid has tunnel vision. Very good passer, and he will not miss the open man. Now, I do want to talk about this as well, too. So, this is kind of more of a question, kind of more like an uh, opinion-based question, really, just to be honest with you. But if you've been keeping with Ole Miss the last couple of years, or especially a recruiting class for the last couple of years, it's obvious that, hey, uh, of course, you know, Ole Miss has been recruiting guards, you know, point guards, shooting guards, pretty good the last couple of years. We have some good guards on the team right now. And you look at the roster, Ole Miss has eight guards on the roster right now. You have freshman Amir Abram, freshman TJ Cardwell, sophomore James White, junior Matthew Morrell, freshman Robert, you know, Robert Coward, senior Ty Fagan, and then you have sophomore Deshaun Ruffin. So this is where the question comes in. Now, of course, you guys have to remember uh, Josh Heber will be a senior this year in high school, so he hasn't played the senior season yet. Um, so he'll be at Ole Miss next year. So next year, you don't have Ty Fagan, but you still don't have Ruffin. You still don't have Morrell, most likely. You still don't have James White, which is a guy not really well-known just yet, but I believe James White's going to have a huge year for Ole Miss. Uh, I think I think James White's going to be one of those breakout players to watch out for for Ole Miss this year. Uh, but this is the question is, where do you guys see him in the lineup in a couple of years? I mean, do you guys think he could start as maybe a sixth man in a couple of years? And, of course, this is just me assuming that, hey, you still have Morrell, for two more years, this is me assuming that Ruffin stays at Ole Miss for a couple of years. Uh, of course, this is assuming that James White will still be at Ole Miss in a couple of years. You know, some of these players may transfer. You, you just don't know. But if all those players are still here in a couple of years, he he might be on the bench for a couple of years. He may not start until his sophomore, junior year. Uh, I really don't know. So if I was Ole Miss, I would definitely rush with the kid, first of all. And then maybe the next year, maybe two more years down the road, the kids should have a bunch of playing time after that. But we'll see what happens. Of course, I don't know the future. Don't know what will happen, but we'll see. So that's kind of the question is, do you guys think he could start for Ole Miss in a couple of years or maybe on the bench for a year or two until he gets some playing time? Uh, whether he all thoughts and opinions on this as well too but that's pretty much all i got for the video if you could please feel a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already it would be greatly appreciated i'll see you guys in the video have a good one your boy turns out peace